Welcome back to the channel, man. Today we're gonna to be working on my E46 once again. Now my short-term goal for this is I would like to just get it cleaned up and make it a really nice daily for me to drive. Ever since I got rid of my Altima, um, if you guys are new with the channel, I used to have a 2019 Nissan Altima. I got rid of the Altima because I wanted to get rid of that car payment. Instead of having that $500 car payment every month, plus having to carry full coverage insurance on that damn thing. When I left the shop and I went to doing YouTube full time, I tried to get my bills as low as I possibly could, which would loosen up my money to be able to actually invest into my damn cars in order to even make content, you know what I'm saying? So when doing so, I left myself without a, like a nice comfortable daily. I mean, I think this could most certainly be that. Now that is my short term goal is to clean it up, make it look nice. You guys already know we just refurbished these style 19 wheels that are going to be going on it as soon as the clear coat cures i think i might want to dabble a little bit into performance mods on this car once we get it cleaned up bro not not right away but i'm thinking just small stuff like bolt-ons you know header intake exhaust type stuff maybe a tune now moving on with trying to get this thing cleaned up and looking a little bit nicer i feel like the biggest problem areas on this car is the trunk because of all the sun damage the clear coat has just went to hell on it i mean it is a black car in Arizona. The roof is the same way. The roof is definitely a lot worse than the trunk. The hood is the absolute worst because this, like imagine if this thing was just glossy, shiny black. I mean, this car would look just 10 times better. But since being the hood is just, the clear coat on it is beat, it really takes away from the appearance of the car. You know what I mean? Now, as far as body damage and paint defects on this car those are not the only areas there's definitely other spots that could use a, i mean if i'm being honest this whole entire car could use a paint job you know what i'm saying but i'm not that invested into this thing i'm not going to sand this whole damn thing down and paint it i just want to work on those big problem areas that stand out the most and as for the rest of the car man we could just go over it and like buff it really good for all i care So we are gonna be wet sanding these areas and then we're gonna be shooting a fresh coat of clear coat over it. Now, I've never done this before. So uh, this is gonna be my first time ever trying to repair the paint, I guess you could say, or repair the finish. From what it looks like to me, like the paint isn't damaged. This is just all in the clear coat itself. Up here as well, like it looks like we could actually save it just by doing a little bit of wet sanding and then we'll go through and put a fresh coat of clear. As far as wet sandpaper, I'm starting off with a thousand. I have a thousand, fifteen, and then I have this 3000 grit like little foam pads that I'm gonna finish with I think that should be good enough but first thing that we got to do is mask some stuff off Course it broke. Why wouldn't it break? Well, I need a cardboard box right now, so what better time to open up a couple packages that came from the P.O. box? So we got two of them and a salt gun. <laughs> Josh brought this over for the flies, man. It's that time of year again. For whatever reason, there's freaking flies just they just hang out in the garage, bro. They just swarm around in a circle right in the middle. Got my new blade. What the hell is that? Spider robot? Real freaking funny, bro. <laughs> it's not fun to have a leaking garden hose, and we all know how you love spiders, so now you have a garage mascot. Couldn't say no to the dog treats. Hope they enjoy. Keep it up, brother, from Chris Kelly. Dude, Chris, that's what's up, bro. Hey, 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 hey. This is a garden hose? And some freaking dog treats. What's up? Let's go get Toby right now. Shoot. You know what? I'm gonna let Toby out front. Gotta shut this gate though. Toby! Come on, dude. Hurry. Come on. Come on. <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> 
going on, man? I got something for you. Come here. Hey, somebody said something for you. Come here. <laughs> Tell me. You want a treat? What is that? You like that? One hundred percent good boy right here. One hundred percent. Wow. Look at this fancy ass thing. Got a little on and off valve built into it. That's what's up. Hell, I needed a box, but may as well put the hose to use right now too. <laughs> you want another one? You want another one? You want another? Oh, he got it. <laughs> well, it's definitely not leaking. As for the box, I just needed something to prop the hood up. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you again to Chris Kelly, man. I appreciate you. Toby definitely appreciates you here, boy. Good boy. All right, one more package. Yo, I replicated the design of the OEM clock block off plate for the 9091 EF hatchback. You can check out more on my IG page. There's also a link to my eBay store where I can sell OEM EF parts. I enjoy your videos. Hella hyped on the S10. Keep it up, DB fam. Hell yeah, bro. That's sick, dude. Go check out his Instagram, of course. Uh, he 3D prints and makes these block offs. So this is just a standard, like, plastic one. This is a really clean piece, bro. Um, and then this is a forged carbon one, so. Hell freaking yeah, man. So now I have to go and swap that out in khaki with this one, because he actually put deadbeats in there as well. If I can get my camera to focus. There we go. You guys can see it. it says deadbeats in there as well on top of the forged carbon. That's what's up, dude. Huge shout out to you. Thanks, brother. I'll go give you a follow on Instagram for sure. I appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and start sanding. My goal is to get this done today, hopefully. So I am starting off with 1,000 grit. But first, I'm going to grab some alcohol and a clean rag and wipe this down really good because it's really gritty and dirty. You see, this is the reason why I'm hoping that just with a clear coat, well, wet sand it and clear coat it, that this hood and along with the rest of the car will actually turn out nice because whenever you get it wet, man, it looks amazing. We'll see. I'm going to start off with our thousand grit. <laughs>
Well, it's starting to look pretty good, man. This is just doing a thousand grit. I decided not to do the, the whole 1500, 3000. I don't know why I was talking about doing that in the first place. I'm not trying to polish this. The thousand grit is fine because we are going to be clear coating it. So you do still want a little bit of like a scuff for the clear coat to bind with. So for us to go all the way to 3000, we're basically polishing the paint and giving it a lot less for the clear coat to actually bind to. But I've went over the roof, I went over the hood. I might skim over everything one more time just for good measure. Um, yeah, cause you can see like in the back there's still, cause you do want to get rid of this kind of looking stuff to where it's just all like a nice even chalky black you know what i'm saying but you remember earlier whenever i said my goal is to get this done today hopefully so that's not gonna happen so we apparently have a storm rolling in and you might think to yourself like bravest this happens every time that you're gonna go and paint don't you check the weather report no i don't ever check the damn weather report maybe i ought to start doing that but no it's definitely gonna rain bro look at how dark these clouds are lovely yeah so definitely no clear coating today because I have yet to have waterproof my damn booth. Crastination always screws me on things like that. But it's all good, man. At least I could take my time now on wet sanding this because I was kind of rushing through it, trying to hurry up so I can get all of this done in one day. But now I could kind of slow down and make sure I do a little bit of a better job, you know, like getting closer around all the edges and everything. I decided to go ahead and do the headlights as well. So whenever we are ready to start spraying and I mask everything off, I'll just make, I'll make sure to mask off around the headlight and leave it exposed so that I can clear coat the headlight along with the hood. I may as well take this time since I'm not gonna be able to clear coat this today and degrease and pressure wash the engine bay out. And especially this damn mat right here, bro. So I'm gonna get all this stuff cleaned up. Woof. Yeah. <laughs> Of course the wind blows the stuff right back in my face. Okay, well I guess I filled that up with too much water. <laughs> Got too heavy to stay up there. Now I can clean it better. <laughs> and underneath it. All right, it's the next day, man, and it looks like we're gonna have clear weather all day, thankfully. And it never did end up raining last night, by the way. It was just windy as shit, so I don't know. Better safe than sorry. I would hate for this thing to be sitting out here last night drying and it start raining at like 2 in the morning. Yeah, got everything all wet sanded down, but I've also got a whole lot to mask off. Basically, the whole entire car has got to be masked off, and that's probably what's gonna take the longest is masking. Yep. All right, so I've went through and I've masked off the surrounding areas around everywhere where we're gonna be spraying. Now, I'm gonna go back and actually just cover the whole car with plastic, and then I'll cut the plastic back a little bit to where I can actually tape it directly to the paper now. So, got the roof and the sunroof all masked off, got all the way around the hood masked off. I was gonna just clear coat this vent with it, but then I noticed there's a lot of like uh, residue and stuff all over it, so I was like, screw it, I'll just mask it off, and then after we're done, I'll have to clean it and like hit it with some tire shine. I don't know, but got the headlights exposed still. And I also, I don't want to lift it up, but I masked off the entire engine. So the entire engine's all completely covered. Now, just gotta wrap this thing with some freaking plastic. That's the fun part.
all masked off. I blew all the dust out of this damn place and I got the floor wet. Got it all nice and soaking wet. You know what I'm saying? Also got the gun filled up with our clear coat. I'm probably going to need more than this. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some more in that cup and have it sitting there ready. So I don't have to do it while I'm in between a coat or something. But now only thing I have left to do, um, I went over and I kind of wiped the hood. I, I wiped all the surfaces down there. We're going to spray with some alcohol. I'm going to do it one more time. I went and grabbed a fresh clean rag and I'm going to wipe it all down one more time and then we got to tack rag it and then from there dude we're ready to start spraying i'm really hoping to not get any dust in this but it's hard in such a ghetto ass spray booth <laughs> i mean it's better than spraying out there you know what i'm saying but one of these days i'll make this place nice so this is going to be the wax on wax off technique you want to wipe it down but you don't want it to dry on its own you want to dry it yourself so I have a rag that's saturated with alcohol, then I also have one that's dry. That's the procedure. this thing sit for a few hours most certainly um, it's definitely very wet so I ended up doing I had planned on doing three coats on the whole thing I only recorded one coat because it was getting really foggy in here and I didn't want to get it all over my damn camera and I don't feel like going and finding my GoPro I don't know what I did with it <laughs> but anyhow I did two coats on everything and then on the third coat I did a third coat on the hood but then I started looking at the roof and looking at the trunk and I was like man I'm not even gonna do a third coat they already look really good the more coats you do, the more danger you run into for getting like hair, or dust, or whatever in it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely really happy with how it's turned out. It looks really good in here anyway. And once we get it out of here, it's going to look even better in the sun. <laughs> but yeah, dude, I'm definitely stoked about this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this thing sit in here overnight. I'm not even going to pull it out till tomorrow. So. Yeah. 